The configuration menu of WinVRS is used to make changes to other aspects of the system outside of day-to-day -day operation and transactions. Scales and indicators are added here. WinVRS can handle up to 12 individual indicators on one system. Hardware configuration, as well as database tables, general settings, and supervisor and operator settings round out the rest of the configuration menu. Under Scale Instrument Setup, you are able to add and modify scales that are connected to the system. If you are operating with just one scale, it will be located at Workstation 1, Device 1, in the ID table. Once selected, the update menu for the device will be displayed where several different settings can be changed to suit your particular system, including connection type and customization settings to specify the capacity, divisions of measurement, and the weight threshold of the scale. You can even set up sound files to play when weight is on the scale to alert the operator at specified thresholds when vehicle ID is provided and identified and when the truck exits the weighing system. Let's walk through a typical single scale setup. From this menu, select the individual scale, which will be located in the first position of the table. For our purposes, the indicator is connected directly to the computer, so our type is local, and the connection type is serial port. The capacity has already been set to 120,000 pounds, which will suit our fictional rock quarry company just fine. Now, we don't want the scale to activate under just any measure of weight, so we've set a threshold of 1,000 pounds. This way, the system will only initialize when there is in excess of 1,000 pounds on the scale. Hardware configuration houses all of the printer options. You can set up to five different printers if you wanted certain items going to different locations. For instance, if you wanted only receipts and tickets printed at a scale house and the logs and reports to go to a nearby office. All of this is possible through WinVRS. Database tables allow the user to specify what they would like to see by way of the stored database information system. This is later used during transaction processing. Required parameters can be selected here in order for a transaction to be approved with additional options such as order, trailer, and owner. Fields can be configured to require input and or verification to IDs stored in their respective databases at your leisure. The Transaction Menu Autocomplete Prompt option is located here also. The Settings menu further customizes your WinVRS system to better suit your individual business needs and includes several categories such as Transactions, Charges, Tickets, Database Files, Reports, Tear Expiration, and Statistics. Each tab here has several options associated with it allowing even further customization to your WIN VRS system. Supervisor and Operator ID Setup is where different tiers of control can be managed so that some functions are only accessible to users who are authorized, as well as creating new operator profiles and passwords. You can set profiles to be as general and broad as you like, or set up individual profiles for each and every user. This makes it easier to track changes in your system, as well as see who is overseeing a transaction, and even make locating errors much simpler. Now that the system is configured, it's time for a test run. Next up, a demonstration of a typical WinVRS transaction in the demonstration video.